Uh, hey guys, welcome to Fallout 4 Far Harbor Redux Part 1. Um, uh, as you can probably tell, I'm not really doing Far Harbor right now, but I'm doing the Earl Sterling mission. And I guess I need to start this Far Harbor mission before I can complete the Earl Sterling mission. So, um, yeah. Got an odd look on your face. Basically, this has been recorded long before the Far Harbor series actually started, which would be probably like a couple of weeks after this. But anyway, tell me more. Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details, said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but. No. I'm not sure it was important. What was it, Ellie? Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. Hmm. All right. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. Okay. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You can ask for hours. Um. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Right? Knock, knock. I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. <sighs> yeah, um. You oh. need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You have to get to work right away, detective. Hello. So, um... So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that matters. Mm. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. I see. All right, well. We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter uh. Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Okay, so. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. All right. Well, let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Uh, sorry about this, Kenji. Expenses and all that. Of course. How does 350 cap sound? If she went far, that means travel expenses. We could make it 400. Sure, you got a deal. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. All right, so... Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. 
Yeah, well... You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sure. sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Hmm. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, <laughs> focused, careful. That's mm. how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. No, it's all right. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. I see. And, uh... Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotective. I see. Well, thank you for your time. Nothing else right now. Mrs. Nakano. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions about my daughter? Yeah. Um. Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute uh -huh. I'm not looking for my daughter. Her life is in jeopardy. Okay, and um... Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl. And she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. I see. Uh, Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made right. her, with her and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? All right, well, uh, no more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Thank you very much, Mr. Nakano. Project blog, radiation scene television. Mom says these things actually used to broadcast pictures and sounds back before the war. She also mentioned that some of the ruins of the television studios are still around if you head into the city. Of course, she wasn't too happy when I asked if we could make a trip out there. Uh, I'm getting off track. I managed to repair the vacuum tubes and got the power working again, but, well, it's not like there's any working signal for this thing to receive. I'm just going to start stripping this thing for parts moving forward. Project log, kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have your list. You... You don't know what half that list is, Dad. I can help you. 
Really, Seriously I'll be... Any clues about where I said no. I... I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. Uh, okay. I know you're disappointed, but I won't be long. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I hope I don't have it again tonight. Huh. What's that all about? Project log? Radio. Correction? Working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Let's keep Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. Why, and if someone know. actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Hmm. Fucking nerd. Project log? Lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Hmm, maybe they do. Um, hello? Testing? Hello. <clears throat> Project log. Holotape player. Managed to strip out the parts from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You know, in case you have to go back to it. So, I guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kasumi! Your father needs help with the boat! I'll be right there. Oh, damn. Was I recording that? Ugh. Alright, well, there's the, the boathouse. Um, my dear Kasumi, if you ever get to rock to the safe, then the answer is here in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Rev from Granddad. Picture where the key is. Oh, a key in a picture, of course. Thanks, Granddad. Oh. Oh boy. Project log? Um, myself. I never what? really thought about who or what I am, but. God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of. People up north? There. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Sims. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, huh. but then they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I. Oh no. I'm going to go. The white room. I, I the electricity. Have to the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. Huh. I can make my way to them from there. So the daughter takes off. She. But more importantly, there's a colony of synths up near this far harbor. We need a way yeah. to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the water better than anyone. All right, well, dear. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? 
Yeah, unfortunately, um... Well, I'll just tell it to you straight. Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Well... <sighs> Was there ever a point in time where she was alone for a very long time? Because, um, you know? That's how synths work, Mrs. Nakano. They replace people. This could have happened recently. I know my own daughter. She's not a synth. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, detective? Yeah. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. Okay. Uh, sure. Sure, Kenji. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. We'll be back as soon as we can. Find Kasumi. Please. All right, Nick. <clears throat> Ships ahoy. Here we go. Destination Far Harbor. Hello? Uh, what's uh, what's going on here, guys? Are you lost? This is Far uh, Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. But Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? Uh... I need information about a synth refuge on this island. Ah, another Commonwealth traveler looking for Acadia, then. Acadia? Uh, what's that? What, what's going on? Who? You! Help us defend the town, and I'll answer what? any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall, near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hall, stranger. Don't fall off. If you yeah. do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Uh, Alright, I see. What's going on? Why? Something's out there. What is out there? You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill! Not seeing anything, guys. So. I peeled everyone. Nope, there's still no one here. Whoa. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Defend yourselves. Ready The hell? Come on, Nick. Eyes peeled. Oh. Is that it? Are we clear? What do you mean? Oh shit, what is that? 
the fuck is that? Anglers? Shit. Well, I'll be. I thought we had a rough back in the Commonwealth. Good grief. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. Yeah. It spits out have taken the whole island from my people. For your help when we needed it. You deserve this. So, what's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there uh -huh. are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things right. live in the fog, thrive. You oh. think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. So you're saying that you've... you've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when right. it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. Hmm. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Uh, Time you let me deal with the real problem. Excuse me. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. Um. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. What's the deal? The power of Adam, which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, yeah. you have to find and ask them. We used to have a piece. No, of no need. A uh, hothead menace named Alan Lee. Now that's enough. That uh, creature came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What? What's going on? What did he do to the preacher, fellow? Did he... You know? What or did he what did he do? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims oh. the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really... Oh, that was it? I thought... Custom and popular sentiment. <sighs> right. Everything the preacher mm, said, mm. it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. I see. Well, di do you have evidence that... Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's mm. covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Well, uh, I guess that's settled then. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're headed for Acadia, right? Getting there will yeah. be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. Uh, no one knows who? the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Um, what's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But, uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other, less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. Hmm. Okay, and... What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Okay. Sure. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend uh. a hand around town if you're able. 
even if it's slapped away. People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. You talk to Cassie Dalton? Sure. Shame what happened to her family. You're welcome. The hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me well, the Mariner. Shipwright. Hand right. Man. Yep. The only one keeping the harbor afloat. Beside Captain Avery. I see. Uh a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't mm -hmm. suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. <laughs> I'm a bit short on caps. But I have old Jimmy's shotgun I can give you. Heavens no. He can't use it anymore. Hmm. You've kept the walls together this long. Why do you need special tools now? I want to build the hull up proper. Make it strong. And keep those blasted crabs out. For good. I see. Alright, sure. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagles 450 caps and a shotgun? Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Alright. Hey. Another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't what? Dead. Wait. No. <laughs> it's a mainlander. Uh, well, welcome to my little clinic. If you need hello. doctoring, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. I see. So. Who's Andre? Or Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fog. You may think oh. you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but you got own special brand here. Right, sure. I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help him? You say, what? You? Help? Yeah. Well, poor Me help. Got it bad. Good is dead. Well, I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke. But I'll be watching you. Alright, I promise I won't eat him or anything. Let's take a look. Hmm. Hmm. Andre Mikau is suffering from prolonged severe radiation exposure. He's barely clinging to life. Using blood plasma right away and an anesthetics, I managed to stabilize my patient. I think you may have done. I'll keep looking after Andre. But I think thanks to you, he's got a fighting chance. Yeah, well, you're welcome. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything. I know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. Oh, yeah? I see. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, Kay. the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even right. before the war, it was lumber sure. and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, I see. But now our story takes an unexpected turn. What? A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong. Someone capable. With the stranger. Well, you know. The last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Um. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you. Because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. 
That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey Who? was my cousin. He oh. was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, uh -huh. he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. That. Hmm. Okay, well. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Pete. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone. I don't like the service. We're trying to have the a door. conversation here. Shut your mouths. Open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all. And I can't see any better way of treating it than to have another <clears throat> round. On the house. Yeah. Time to party. Yeah. Today's your lucky day. Free beer. How's that? <laughs> oh. Thanks, man. Well. You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, Thanks. Stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Oh, yeah. I'll meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? Sure. So, What's so special about the fog on the island? Can you feel it? Even here, as safe as anyone can be on this damned island. It's alive. You walk inland and it'll blanket you up in no time. And if the clickety-click of the Geiger don't get you, the madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. Uh-huh. You're saying that the fog can drive you crazy? Yes. It's not natural. The trappers you find inland, some were always murderous louts. But many just got lost in the fog for too long. And the mind goes. If you have any sense, return where you came from and don't look back. I say. Well, if it's so dangerous, why do you stay? This is our home. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Besides, I see. We all gotta die. Might as well do it with your long knife deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. Ha! Uh. All right. Well, I'd like to run a room. It's up the stairs. You want a bite? Thanks. Like 